So grab Junji Ito, attack and attacking, that's the game right there. Snap is optimized for, um, and Snap is optimized for Welcome back, everybody, to the show. I am your host, as always, Jay Villain, a.k.a. That Villain Jay. And tonight, we have a very special treat for you. Yes, we do. Why? We are running Mythic. First Mythic deck that I really haven't played with. Now, people say, Jay, why do you hit Mythic? You go down, you go up. Eh, listen. When I hit Mythic, that's time for me to play. That's time for me to have fun, try all kind of new stuff. I'm not trying to get to numbers. I'm happy in percents, you know what I mean? So... We have a really great submission by our mod extraordinaire, good friend of the channel, Perudabo. He gave me an absolute jund jank pile. This, you can't even imagine how jank this is. Uh, I call it the Dabo. Um, and it is, an, uh, it is a jund resurrection, crazy, like, three, four cascades of resurrection reanimator in this one. Absolute fun. Can you get wins in Mythic? Absolutely it can. Once it goes off, it goes off bad, like, and it is a huge pile, so we want to get right down to this one. Uh, I need you to do something for me, though. Before we do that, can you please tenderly press that like button? It's right down there. Right down there. Just tenderly press it. Don't smash it. Everyone wants you to smash it. I don't want you to do that. Uh, I just want you to tenderly press it and gently press the subscribe button and subscribe to the channel as well. Join the villains today, or you will be attacked by the like and subscribe. That's a guarantee. And that is a YouTube werewolf who will hunt you. Check out, uh, join us on our stream every night at twitch.tv slash thatvillainj for our live stream of goodness. That link is on all the description. You can see these decks live and in person. Maybe even submit your own deck, and I'll play it. I don't know. Um, check out our Discord, latest news and information. We have a good time right there. That link's down there, too. And, of course, this deck and all the other ones that I build are available down below on my Aether Hub. So if you want to get a copy of everything that I have, Go to Aether Hub. That's the key right there. So what are we talking about with the Dabo? Well, it's damn near a brawl deck for how little we have one of everything. Ashnod. Uh, why do we have Ashnod? So we can sacrifice things for Power Stones. It is a bit of a high end. Um, that's fine, though. That's fine. It's a bit of a high end. That's fine. Uh, because the Power Stones will help get us some of the artifacts out. Um, and we can also play things out of our graveyard to... Uh, play zombies, and it's just a great what what. Uh, it's just a great one one death touch to block things with. Cut down and go for the throat. We only have three removal. Um, if I had to change one thing about this deck, I would add more removal. Maybe even get rid of Ashnod and add more cut down. Is three removal enough to survive in the meta? Well, yes and no. We can get by as long as they're not swarming us. If we get swarmed by mono red early early on, you might see a game or two of that. If we get swarmed by them, we're gonna get. We're going to get cut down. Um, but a little bit of removal is going to go a long way. Cut down and go for the throat are what we have there. However, you can put any removal we do. We do have other options with Skyfisher, but we'll get to that. Undying Malice. No, here we have Evolve Sleeper. Another great one drop. Um, if you don't have Ashnod and you have uh, Evolve Sleeper, just put more Evolve Sleepers in. It's fine. It does give you that 1-1 one, one, uh, human base, and then it becomes a uh, human cleric, and then, of course, it becomes a Phyrexian cleric. Um, with Death Touch, and then, of course, you can keep drawing, lose a life, and draw cards. Um, which, is, which is very, very useful all around. Um, it just keeps getting stronger and stronger and stronger. So, great early drop. Undying Malice, when you're going to be sacrificing things, uh, playing one black, sacrifice, and bring it back, tapped, with a 1-1 one, one counter on it, great combo plays that we can pull off with Undying Malice. We're going to want to see more of that, too. Um, so when you know you're going to hit a sacrifice on somebody to trigger something else, get that Undying Malice on there and bring it back. Go for the throw. We talked about Jadar, another sacrifice fodder maker here with the Zombo Bombo. Uh, really, really good stuff. He's going to make fat fodder to throw in every single time. No problem there. He's just a two drop human wizard, one black, one, one, um, one black, one, one, one. And he creates these decayed zombies. So you got to remember to sacrifice them before they die from decayed. However... Every time there's a dead one, he will bring back another one so they can be sacrificed ad infinitum as long as he survives. One Tenacious Underdog to keep resurrecting back and forth again and again. Um, even more interesting than the Underdog the, to play from the graveyard is Riveteer's Requisitioner. 
probably one of the most underrated red cards in all of uh, ne uh not neon dynasty in all of nuka penna i love this card why very aggressive okay a, a red two drop three one if they don't have their if they don't have their shields up yet they're gonna want to get them you can do a lot of damage swinging in by turn three um and of course you can blitz it for three which means that it gets haste you have to sacrifice it but you get to draw a card and when it dies after you sacrifice it or if it gets killed uh you get a treasure token so you have ramp you have card draw you have a very aggressive red card all in a lovely lovely little via shano row package right there um extremely useful i use this card a lot um anything that helps you ramp early on and that you can just bring back uh really 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 useful all, all around and that three power is very useful for sacrifices too so we're going to keep that one in mind because you're going to get a lot of back out of that fable of the mirror breaker i mean if you have red man in your deck and you're not running this i mean what are you doing it's probably one of the best red cards in standard right now if not the best one red two um you'll create a two two goblin shaman creature whenever this creature attacks create a treasure token you know that again more treasure ramp to get that really high end that we are doing there we can discard cards and draw them in case you're flooded or droughted um in case you're flooded or droughted draw more cards that's fine and then of course you get the reflexes of kiki jiki which is of course a 2-2 goblin shaman you pay one tap create a token that's a copy of another target non-legendary creature you control except it has haste sacrifice it at the beginning of the next end step uh so you can copy your non-legendary creatures multiple times for as little as one dollar uh right there so very nice omnixilis again you're seeing a lot of these sacrifice plays here this is where it starts paying off one red one black and one casualty x uh the copy isn't legendary and has a starting toil uh starting loyalty of x so basically you sacrifice with casualty a creature with x power when you do you copy the spell so again riveteers turn two and obnixilis turn three you can get a three three two three three obnixes out then of course you can do the negative two create a red devil then force people to uh lose um lose two life and then they discard a card if you control a demon or a devil you gain two life very 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 useful obnixilis stuff there and man does this man have the drip or what man if i could wear that every day i would anyways so we have a sacrifice play for obnixilis we can even sacrifice bigger things if we can guarantee that we can either bring them back with undying malice or with any of our other dirty tricks circuit mender um do we need three circuit menders i don't know probably only two maybe we'll only go two and a little bit more cut down uh three drop two three gain a little life draw a little cards great little sacrifice play for him uh it is a solid three drop um and it is good sacrifice fodder and again we get to draw a card when it inevitably gets killed or we kill it on purpose so that's kind of why we have that on there body launderer this is our four drop right here um green uh i mean two black and two three three uh ogre rogue death touch Whenever another non-token creature you control dies, Body Launderer connives. Whenever Body Launderer dies, return another target non-rogue creature card from, um, uh, with equal lesser power from your graveyard to the battlefield. So it connives and gets stronger every time somebody else dies. Then when he dies, he brings back a non-rogue. You're also maybe seeing a pattern here of there's a lot of little cards. We're kind of a cascading down with mana value very specifically. We're going to get to the reason for that in a second. So body launder is good um resurrection and a death touch sky fisher spider this is our other removal this is the golgari spider right here one green one black and two um three three reach whenever it enters the battlefield you can sacrifice another creature when you do destroy target non-land permanent and remember that's just not a creature um it's not just a creature it's a specific uh, non-land permanent so it can be an artifact it can be an enchantment very very useful and then of course when it dies you may gain one life for each creature if you do exile sky fisher spider so we can do that if we need in an emergency we can gain some life but we don't always use it. junji now we're really getting into the jank here junji two black and three five five flying menace dragon spirit uh each opponent discards two cards and loses two life put target non-dragon creature from your graveyard onto the battlefield you lose two life again another resurrection when he dies so we can start getting in the cascading sacrifice him uh then we resurrect somebody else okay so we can bring him back even i've played uh i've played undying on him sacrificed him brought somebody back and he comes back too so we're starting to get into the complicated swings here cruelty of gex 
reveals their hand. You choose a creature planeswalker card from it. That player discards it. Search your library for a specific. We might need that to get Vivian, which is what we kind of want. Um, we lose three life. Or we put a card, creature card from a graveyard, not just one graveyard, but any graveyard, onto the battlefield. Workshop Warchief, another great sacrifice. Why? Because he's got that blitz ability, 5-3, and when he dies, we get a 4-4 four, four Rhino. And when he comes onto the battlefield, we gain three life. Another sacrifice fighter. Now, Vivian is our main crux here. Two green and four legendary planeswalker. Never used her before. However, we do have her. You may sacrifice a creature for a plus two. This is her plus two. Uh, if you do, search your library for a creature card with a mana value equal to one plus the sacrifice creatures. Put that onto the battlefield and then shuffle. So you sacrifice a circuit mender, you get a free sky fisher. You sacrifice a Junji, you bring somebody back from the battle from the graveyard. Uh, by sacrificing him and then you get somebody um, you search your library for a card that's actually a six you bring back a six you get Olivia Cl Crimson Blade or you get Zia Tora. Uh you sacrifice one of them you get a Phyrexian Flesh Gorger or a Titan of Industry so you want one plus the number of the mana value she will just keep trading up cards you can mill five cards then put any number of creature cards milled this way in your hand not really necessary or create a Rhino token in an emergency. That's nice, but we really do want her for the sacrifice trade up. We're gonna keep trading people up with Vivian. Um, we're gonna get to her as fast as possible. Olivia, Crimson Bride, one black, one red, four, three, four, flying haste, vampire noble. Uh, when she attacks, return to her creature from the graveyard to the battlefield, tapped and attacking. Um, it gains when you don't control a legendary vampire, exile this creature. So you have to have her to kind of keep it alive. However, one swing is usually enough. Uh, if we've milled cards or we've lost cards or sacrificed cards, we can bring things back over and over again. So you start seeing this cycle of just putting things on the board for free, for free, for free, for free, as fast as possible. This is where the jank pile starts triggering off here. And then for a nice finishing finale, we have Zia Tora, uh, uh, the incinerator, our Jund mistress here. 6-6, six, six, demon dragon. At the beginning of your end step, you sacrifice another creature. When you do, it deals damage to that creature's power and you create three treasure tokens. Throw somebody at somebody else. Workshop War Chief, why not? Throw Skyfisher Spider at him, why not? Um, Phyrexian Flesh Gorger, we can pay it for its prototype for early, or we can try to get it out if we sacrifice something like a, a four drop with Vivian. We can get one of these six, seven drops out, like a Titan of Industry or a Phyrexian Flesh Gorger right there. Um, and of course, we finish off with the big boy Titan on there. So you're going to want to trade up. You can pull multiple, multiple chains of reanimator off with this like i said you could lose you know you could sacrifice a body launderer bring somebody back then immediately when you who you bring back is a junji uh you know you sacrifice and get a junji out sacrifice junji get somebody else out get two people out get another person out and then get olivia out and then swing with olivia and get a fourth or fifth person out or whatever it just becomes an absolute domino effect of reanimator on Golgari right here Takanuma Swamps, Zokuzen Forests, um, Zeotaurus Proving Guns 3. The one that we're missing here is we are missing the um, Boseju. I did forget that. That would have been very helpful. Boseju who endures, throw one of those in there. Haunted Ridge, Sulfurous Death Cap, Death Cap, Lanawar, Kerpluzian, and three Zeotaurus right there. Uh, absolutely crazy cascading effects once you get it running. Um, it is an absolute jank pile, but it is fun. And frankly, if we're not having fun playing this game, why are we playing it? Uh, so we're already in Mythic. Look how many different things we have in this. What a variety we have from, from Artificer to Worm and everything in between. Um, 22 creatures, 6 instances, 4 artifacts, 5 enchantments, 3 planeswalkers, Nixilis and Vivian, 26, 24 lands all together. That's what we're looking at with this crazy, crazy nonsense. Just all over the place, but man is it fun. Big shout out to Paradabo. Uh, you can find his link to his Twitch in the description right down there if you want to. That's what we're looking at. There's a little bit of a sideboard that I don't even have time to get into right now, but a little bit more removal and some other things right there in case you want best of three or best of one. For my sideboard and dudes right there, there it is. Uh, let's get into it, guys. We're going to be run we're gonna be running just, like I said, we got one day left in Mythic. Let's just jank, man. Let's just jank off together. You know what I mean? That, that sounds bad, but ignore that. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Make sure you like right down there. Join the villains. Here we go.
So Vivian, Vivian plus two. So you have it kind of stacking, you have it kind of building. As of right now, eight days until one. We have eight days until one. We are eight days a week. Eight days a week. Uh, 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 uh. All right, let's do this. I don't think he's going to block. He's going to block. My goodness. Throwing away a Gorgesi like that. He's not going to block. Okay. I was going to say, throwing away a Gorgesi. That's a gorgeous thing to throw away that gorgeous of a Gorgesi. Ooh. All right. Let's do this. Let's do that. Ooh. All right. Let's do that. Give me the uh oh feelings. Wow, that sure is a that sure is a that sure is a phrase. I mean, add me is gonna be a is is gonna be a an inner an inner meme. Uh... Hey, Sathargo! Quick shout out to Sathargo. Um, what did he do? What did Mister Sathargo do? Jeepers, creepers, where'd you get those peepers? Do that. And turn. A portrait, oh, that's, that's, that's awesome. Oh, Gixie and Puppeteer. Because if you're 5-5-5, five, 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 then I'm Gix, Gix, Gix. Don't want to be a uh, heretic. I haven't thought about that song in a long time. That's Slipknot, right? Heretic? Add me. I probably do need to add the add me command. Uh oh, snap back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Oh, there goes rabbit. Uh, uh oh, spaghettios. Uh oh. Let's swing this guy in. That's a big beefy boy. It's a big beefy boy. Oh, that's a big boy. That's a big boy. Oh, he got me. He got me there, boys. There you go. Snap back to reality. Up the goes gravity. Up the goes gravity. All right, so let's do seven devils all around you. Do do do. Let's advance that. Uh, we're gonna put that gorgeous C. That gorgeous, gorgeous C. 
gorgeous Biggest meme. I can't believe, speaking of which, um, I can't believe that Ussie was an actual fucking phrase of the year. That shit is fucking wild. <clears throat> that is fucking wild that Ussy was the fucking word of the year. Why would you do that? Hmm? But why? Why would you do that? Snap back to reality. Oh, the ghost gravity. Oh, the ghost rabbit. Uh, let's do that. Put something in my hand. Um, my jungle love. Oh, we, oh, we, oh. I think I want to know ya, know ya. Okay. Do that. Um, let's hit that. Fifteen bucks, little man. Then you owe me, oh we yo, my jungle love, oh we yo oh, we yo. Oh. Put that shit in my hand. Then you owe me, oh we, <laughs> then you owe me, oh me, oh. That's <laughs> classic. Hazmat knows it. Add me categories. Add me. The motherfucking time. Okay, let's see here. The gorgeous sea is a gorgeous thing. Pop, 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 pop. Snap back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Oh, there goes rabbity. What's up, Trevard? Grand total, I'm probably going to be open about maybe 115 packs. Hundred and ten. That one did go a lot better, Numskull. Numskull, you got your top five cards. It was Jungle Love, yes. Oh we oh we yo. You got your top five cards ready to go. Um because that's the next podcast. Top five cards from the new set coming out. I want you to pick yours first because we're ending gonna. Every time we do this, we always come to the oh Hunter Mayday lost. We always come to the damn thing with the same four cards, and then maybe we have one different one. So I'm letting you pick first. I'll pick. I'll, I'll pick. A, I'll pick off of yours. Um. I'll pick off of yours because we're just all gonna pick the the best black and occasionally ors of. Trevard. Uh, yeah, add me and then we'll... Oh my god. So Snow bought me a big thermos because I love to drink water. As you may or may not know, I love drinking water during my streams and at night. 
and she got me a 24 ounce thermos and I love it except for the fact that this thing I pound like two of these and um, I am absolutely just fire hosing for the rest of the night I am I'm just I'm done um, USG delivery is literally he, he cannot be having a better time as when people are saying add me he just fucking loves that shit um, he fucking, he smokes a fat one and then here's fucking add me and just laughs, giggles the night away. On time, USG delivery, overnight. I was literally choking when, uh, speaking of dying from things. When Paradabo made his snafu um, phrase in the comments, I was, I literally, I thought I was like, I was getting to that point where I couldn't breathe. Um, who's the bull? Ban the bull. Oh no, I haven't I uh I haven't banned him from the Discord yet. Does everybody want me to? If you guys want me to, I you know I will. I warned him a bunch of times. I've warned him you gotta stop spamming people. The bottom is he's like a he's he's like a kid. He's 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 really young. He's like a little kid. I'm pretty sure that that's the And I have a posted rule on my Discord. You have to be 18 or older to use it. I believe I do have that posted. So, we are within our Discord rights to ban him. Um Lightning strike. I would have done that right at me if I was going to do that lightning strike. That's what I would have done. I made discard cards. Is that what I could do? Huh? You know, discard little cards. Yeah, that's what it says. Uh, yeah, that's exactly. It's 100 percent true. Um, it is 100. I stand by those words, and I feel like I've I'm justified by those words. I don't think he's a troll. I don't think he is. I think he genuinely is like something wrong with him. Like uh, he's he's very very young or something. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people have no self-awareness. Um, there we go. Copying the spider. I wasn't going to copy the spider. I wanted to sacrifice the spider. Spider, spy. Oh, Downtain. Downtain Abbey. More like it, huh? SMH. LOL. G2G. You get it? Bullying Mono Red. Mythic 1. Yeah. You, oh, Numskull, you know I can never take your spot, dude. Very well received deck today from, uh, uh, from, uh, that I shamelessly stole from, uh, uh, Bang Buses. I shamelessly stole from, uh, whatchamacallit, Numskull. I forgot your name real quick there. Don't worry about it. Don't, don't worry about it. I forgot your name. It's all right. I know I do a podcast with you every week. 
and we've done it for for 19 weeks, but uh, you know, I'm not good with names. Down down is that down to add? He's just looking for people. He's like, "Bro, what's up, man? You in that ad, you on that adding tip? What's up, man? You on that fucking ad shit?" Just a regular guy out here looking for people to add. You know? Ain't nothing. Maybe, you know, maybe I add you, maybe you add me, maybe we get a third person, we add them. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing. We just do what we do, you know? See where the night takes us. Let's get rid of shakedown, breakdown heavy. And he drew another one. Which he'll be able to hit with Titan Industry. Nice. I drew a very heavy hand here, so I wasn't really uh Yeah, this is a, this is immediate scoop right here. We we lost that one. We went on a nice run, though. That's good. I'm just a guy looking for people to add. You know? I had nothing wrong with that. Op goes first, and I have no early plays, especially with that Requisition Riveter. Mulligan. Wow! How do you like them apples? Yikes, Ola. Did you see that piece of shit? Oh my god. I'm going to tear this guy up. That's an anatomy joke. So you have your you have your ACLs and your MCLs. That's Wait, do you have MCLs? I think it's ACL and the MCL. Union of the third past. I know it's something that always happens in sports. Something in your knee. Counterspell. Sathargo, listen, Sathargo, you got to understand, I've never pronounced anybody's name right, ever. That's part of my appeal. Just add Lord Gypticus. Just ask Lord Gypticus, the Flipticus, the number one Kypticus. 
He knows about it. Never in my whole life have I said anyone's name correctly. He's probably got every every counter spell in the world over there. Um, so let's put this Sky Fisher Spider down. Oh my goodness, he didn't have any counter spells. I say Zaveritz. I don't know if that's correct. Um, I call Tanuki. I call him the Nukes. I call him the Nukes. Snap back to reality. Oh, the goes gravity. Oh, the goes gravity. Oh. Oh, he did have a counter spell. He did have a counter spell. He was fucking on manual control. That evolved sleeper popped. No, apparently not. He's gonna play a removal though. There you go. Draw. More cowbell. I gotta have more cowbell, baby. I got a fever. And the only prescription is more cowbell, baby. Do you even add, bro? Bro, do you even add? Do you even add, bro? This dude's just gonna run out the clock. I have no idea what's going on with this man right here. I, I couldn't even tell you. There we go. That's what we were waiting on. Probably because your kitten feels comfortable. If I had to guess. Lay down arms. Very nice. Lay down Anna de Armas. This is fucking going nowhere. This is just one of those go nowhere Zorius decks. That just eats time and souls. That's all it does. This is what it sounds like when the doves cry. Hey, what's up, CNG stream?
Somewhere Sevis is screaming, he doesn't know why. Let's see if he's got the counter spell. Show me potato salad. He's got the removal. No. Nope. Kill that one. He might have another. Who's he going to have? There we go. More removal. We're just going back and forth. Zaverits. How many cards is he at? 34? Counterspell, maybe? Destroy target non land permanent. Getting some nice resurrection reanimator sy synergies out of here. I'm, I'm liking it. Pedarabo. Pedarabo. Oh, a girl named Ron is raiding with a party of nine. Welcome, a girl named Ron. Welcome, welcome, one and all. Welcome, welcome, big and tall. Welcome, welcome, short and thin. Welcome, welcome, now let's begin. That's our streamer's prayer. Attacks me with everything, so we gotta put down this piece of garbage. Welcome, girl named Ron. Gotta play another removal. Very nice. Yeah. We'll play another removal. He's played. He's so far gotten a Wandering, three Lay Down Arms, one Edge Ganjigo, two Fateful Absence. So, I mean, it's just removal tribal. So it's at the point where the word add doesn't even make, doesn't even sound like a word anymore to you. It's just nonsense. Just high nonsense. Love it. 
That's before the Devious cover-up. Did he run a Devious? I don't think he ran a Devious yet. He's the type of dude that would. MCL the type of dude that would run a Devious cover-up. The opposite of sub is dom. LOL. Welcome, a girl named Ron. She hasn't said anything yet. Um, so that's too sad. That's sad. That's sad she hasn't said anything. Or any of her people have said anything. I'm sad about that. Oh, now she followed. Okay, there we go. Here's Vivian Madrano right here. Let's go give a girl named Ron a follow here. What does she do? 469 followers. Cracking packs. I'm going to follow right there. Okay. Fantastic. I'm going to give him the old sleepy emoji. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. All right, one more, guys. Won a few games with the Dabo. We're gonna keep going with the Dabo. Um, not a great opening hand, but why not? Hey, you have not seen anything new on Mono Black. It was literally the last deck I just posted about going mythic. The latest deck on there. Maybe you got to turn on the uh, notifications, my dude. It's called Mythic Darkness. And it was literally the last deck that I just posted. The last video. So, not not sure what to do with that one right there, my guy. Um, hey, it's Raven. Yesterday, I came, I posted it Sunday, so you, so you're way off. Hit that bell, man. That's your tr that's your key right there. Before that, I posted um, the True Black. That was 13 days ago. Uh, the Skull was one day ago. So. No worries, man. No worries. But it's on there. Believe me, I, I I have to stop myself from running basically mono black only. Um, oh, I'm all oiled up for Zarathir because it was up to me basically everything I have would have black in it. Uh, I mean, if it was up to me, it'd be black all the way down. Deal with that, bro. This dude has played nothing but removal. Burn, 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 burn. Oh, he's going to be an arcane type of guy here. Okay. Exile. Goodbye, Arcane Bombardment. Thank you for trying. I am so, uh, I'm so hyped up on that. He's sad now. He's got another one. Look at that. 
Look at that, guys. He's got another one. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Sorry, bub. Sorry, Charlie. Yeah, it's it do be like that sometimes. It do be like that sometimes, tone deaf. Oh, I'm ready to be oiled up. All right, real question, real talk. All right. Real talk. Oiled up. Completed. Twerking contest. Who wins? Sheldred or Elish Norn? Okay. Who wins? Nick Tor, did you find that deck? Do you need me to link you to it? I'll link you right to it. Elfin lied. Elfin lied said, covered in black oil, completed, and oiled up, she wins. <sighs> Shelly got more ah, eh, Shell I mean Shelly got more back. I love I love mommy Norn, but man, she's she's a skinny one. She ain't, she ain't, she ain't got, she ain't got no sickness for the thickness right there. Um, I mean. It's, it's a damn shame. <sighs> got that big ass hat on. I like your hash brown scattered, smothered, and completed. They literally called her mo mother of machines. And then they were like, oh, I bet people won't call her mommy Norn. I bet they'll be normal about this. People don't have a total fucking internet dommy mommy thing that they're going to fucking wholly embrace. That's not something that happens. Kill card. S. Clay P. They call her Mother of Machines, so she's literally a Dami Mom. She's trying to take over the whole world. Okay. Literally a Dami Mom, ladies and gentlemen. They couldn't help themselves, could they? Is there any rhyme or reasons to which cards you upgrade? What is? What do you mean by that? Oh, and Snap? Um, no, it's just for cosmetics. However, the higher level you upgrade your cards is how you unlock more cards. I know it's a weird way of doing it, but that's how they did it. Um, so let's do that. Let's do, let's put that Gorgajusi on the board. Let's see that counter spell. You want to raise your level, uh, as much as you can. Pokemon Snap? No. Marvel Snap. Pokemon go to the polls. By the way, Marvel Snap is sponsoring me. Now that's a fun that's a fun idea right there. I swear to God, if the Mario movie doesn't end with I'm here to talk to you about the Smash Initiative. Man, what is it all for? What is it? What are we even doing? Why are we still even here? Just to suffer? They better say it. They better say it. That's all I'm saying. It better be a post credit scene where uh, Detective Pikachu comes on stream and says, 
I'm here to talk to you about the Smash Initiative. Dun 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 dun. Even if it doesn't happen, just for the memes. You know what I mean? I think that, yeah, I mean, he did kind of whisper it. He did kind of whisper it. That was, that was pretty good. Hey, what's up, uh, Dice? By the way, uh, where did... Yeah, get on Snap. Get on Snap, dude. Snap is Snap is the shit. Um Where did uh where'd that guy go? Nick Tor, I linked you the video right there, Nick Tor. There's your video, by the way. Make sure guys, I've had a lot of people say, hey, I never saw your video. Make sure you turn on notifications. It really does uh it really does help. Um you you're not gonna miss any if you have notifications on. Because I don't know how many times I've had somebody say, Hey, Jay, when are you going to do a Rakdos? And I'm like, bro, I posted a Rakdos today, two hours ago. And they're like, oh, really? And I'm like, yeah, bro. Gonna crew it. <coughs> Pop. Alright, I can safely draw a card here. Zayatora is very nice. We're gonna activate, do that one. Snap back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Oh, there goes gravity. Thanks, Arena. Okay. No, we want that first. <coughs> Draw. Okay. I'm gonna death touch you. Okay, there you go. Alright, fantastic. Snap back to reality. Oh, the goes gravity. Oh, the goes rabbity. Oh. Wedding announcement, wedding announcement, wedding announcement, wedding, gotta touch them. Every time I touch, every time you, when I think about you, I touch myself, uh, I remember that song, that was a good song. I don't want anybody else, when I think about you, I touch myself, uh. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> oh, Alright, let's send him in. Skyfisher Spider, let me just say to, um, let me just say to my dude here, the Divinals, that's right, oh man, Tanuki with the deep cuts. He's gonna play cut down on, on Kin right there, okay, that's good stuff. It's a very good uh, listen. I I'm not going to I'm not going to sell you horse shit, guys. It's a very good game. Um it's a real good game. Like it's very fun. I play it a lot. I'm going to stream it. I might even make some videos of it because it is a very fun game. Um So 
So let's do... Let's fighting love here. Counterspell, maybe? No. Uh, Vivian, sacrifice a creature. <laughs> sacrifice Junji Ito. I want... Olivia Crimson... Crimson Vow. Place a non-dragon card. I want the Shale Drussy. <laughs> I did it all for the Shale Drussy. Come on, the Shale Drussy. Come on. Ooh, we put it back in his hand. Very nice. Okay. It's not going to matter. I already won. I already won the game. Dulcet Tone. I'm sorry that you find my voice so distracting, cookies and stream. I apologize profusely. So grab... Junji Ito, a tapped and attacking. That's the game right there. Snap is optimized for um it's Snap is optimized for phones. That's really that's really what you should be running on. Oh, look at this. Um who do we have join us here? We're gonna do a shakedown breakdown. Uh but ah, not bad. I had fun with it. And that's that's the idea. Honestly, I don't really try to grind up Mythic. I just try to have fun. We got 13 hours left. What are we going to do? Are we going to get to number one in 13 hours? No. We're just having fun, man. We're just having fun. So that's the name of the game. Big shout out to Peru Dabo. A pair of Dabos, if you will. Um, until next time, guys. I've been Jay Dillon. And you've been great. Bye-bye.